Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fallout 4 survival mode. We did make it back to Covenant. There's a Brahmin outside and the dog's looking to sniff its butt or something. I have no idea. Swanson doesn't know what to do with himself anymore since I took his desk away from him. And I've been doing a little bit of building. Now, I went back and forth on this an awful lot. I spent a lot of time playing around with things to see what I could fit in that would be complimentary and help deal with the bed situation. As you can see what's going on over here right now. Thank you, Talia. That's really, really lovely. Um, I created a little bunkhouse. Stop complaining. I'm trying to do a video. Um, and moved two lots of bunk beds into here. You see there's, there's quite tight in here, but there is enough space that um, that the settlers can get in and out of bed. You've just witnessed them doing it. I quite liked the sort of... Ooh, I just went into the... Uh, okay. I quite liked the sort of greenhouse effect. I went back and forth, as I said, using all different building materials to see what was the most complimentary. And in the end, I settled on the sort of greenhouse effect simply because of the way... You can see it with this building here better because of the way that... that they have these little windowed bits um i really like that and i think that the the corrugated iron is quite um obtrusive at times but if you, you you know you can use as little of it as possible and i've um complemented it with sort of the redder shades and used it sparingly where i can but it picks out the colors and then you can you know cover up whatever you uh, possibly can thank you Deezer I don't want it at the moment the red of the thing matches the dog house too and I made this little shack here mm, I wonder who's I wonder whose area this is I wonder who lives here dog hmm a footlocker under the bed magazines who can tell um yeah and there's some nice flooring going down sort of around here I'll probably use this space for something but I haven't quite figured out what yet yeah, so that um, took care of the bed situation, at least, um, without me having to be really, really uh, destructive, as I kind of was towards the last part. Um, as I've said before, these beds you can't scrap. I've left this one in here. I forgot to block that door back over. I pulled it out simply because this door locks and I didn't want to pull that door off. And they will turn hostile to you if they see you picking those locks. It happened. I got shot the fuck up so yeah um yeah so just a little bit more in covenant so as to make some more space for everybody so that um you know who's here now has somewhere to sleep and all like that i still haven't um let me just do this i still haven't done anything with this room yet i have got a plan for this room eventually um which is going to make use of this space as well but um i'm not really in a position to do that just yet so there we go we figured out covenant's problems there's a couple of extra beds now they've got plenty of food and everything everybody is uh awesome yeah. thank you um everybody is now happy and has jobs and it's all going very very well now penny excuse me where is she? She isn't in her store. Oh, I put um, I put a hairdresser barber chair in here too and assigned someone to it. So, yeah. Here comes the doctor. I'm okay for stuff, doctor. I'm okay, thank you. Not right now. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure where Penny was. Penny wouldn't uh, serve to me earlier on. These doors are open now, which is good. They got all a little bit glitched. I was, like, walking straight through them. It was very weird. Will you sell to me from here, Enjoy Penny? Can we trade a few things? No. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, she was just saying that. She wouldn't, let me, she wouldn't sell to me before, which was really quite annoying. So, yeah, um, as I've said before in the past, when it comes to Covenant, I want to try and do things that are as complimentary as possible. I don't want to pull the place apart too much. Um, and I really like it. It's a lovely, uh, lovely little community going on there. It's very cute. Dora. The cat has a name, and her name is Dora. You can find it in Vats. 
just in case you were wondering that kitty has a name she is dora and she is a little explorer yep it is because i just walked out of it so i have a bit of a plan today we are gonna head down back down to county crossing and assist them with their problem that they had by shooting some raiders in the face come on come on it's been really fun taking out the the raider hideouts because the raider bosses all seem to know each other and write interesting shit about each other on their um on their terminals and specifically interesting shit about me too right we're actually gonna head down this road this road this road yeah we're gonna head down this road because well, frankly, I want an excuse to go past this safe house so that I can claim it. <laughs> and I set a rule down for myself that Jim would have to find things and uh, not just, you know, shut up. Oh, God, I missed. And I missed in bats, too. It's going well. <laughs> oh, dear me, I'm going to get killed by a blood bug, blood bug hatchling. Yeah, it's running away. There is no escaping. There's no escaping. No. You don't get to get away. Right. So, yeah. This is the area that I came through earlier on and got murdered by by other blood bugs. Ooh. Did you come and try and find your buddy, did you? Well, he's dead. And so are you. Right. Should be better at this now. I've got... um got better weapons i'm a lot more healthy than i was right let's see if we can snipe one of these off oh my vat's accuracy is still atrocious oh it blew itself up nice Interesting to note that they can fly over. Ooh. They can fly over um, mines and trigger them. I feel ill. I have weakness. Lovely. Thank you, blood bug. You dick. There we go. That one had some meat. Which is good. Right, I think I'm going to have to pull this one out. Right. Thought there were more mines around here. They must have triggered them. There are two blood bugs inside of the house. There we go. And one more inside of here which is quite a t can be quite a tough one sometimes Ooh, ooh, hello oh there's two there's a red widow red widows are the tough ones so i'm going to want to take this one out first hopefully not die to the regular one ah my I say my regular accuracy is pretty awful too. Go get him, doggy. Go get it. Jump at it. Jump at it. Bite it out the sky. There we go. And with that, we have uh, cleared out Tappington Boathouse. What? Jim was just walking down the street, heading back down towards County Crossing, and the blood bugs attacked him what uh these things are horrible it's no wonder i got killed by one of them you see the size of them they're just they're huge they're disgusting get them out of my house are we can coils broken things safe Right, there's some good stuff in here. We'll take all of that out. Where is that radio? Is switch off that radio. 
Here we go, Margaret. Margaret, no, bottle cap, sweet roll, explorer outfit. I don't want to take her clothes off it, but I do want to take her body out of the house. Because, you know, don't want dead bodies in my house. Thank you. Come on, Margaret. Down the stairs. Down the stairs you come. Oop, 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 oop. Sorry, Margaret. Sorry. Sorry. Now, don't worry about Margaret. She she's fine. She's uh she's enjoying the experience. No, she's she's not fine. She's dead. She's very, very dead. But we're gonna com commit commit her body to the sea and she will be happy again. And the lovely tide of this river will push her body under the house and she will never be seen ever again. We'll do the same with the blood book bodies eventually. Get rid of all of them. I don't want them in my house. Can I pick them up? Yeah, I can pick it up. Ugh, look at this. Look at this horrible thing. It's disgusting. Dog. Dog, look at this. Look at this. It's like, you wouldn't even want to eat this, would you? You wouldn't even want to eat this disgusting thing. It's vile. It's a gross. It's revolting. Ugh. Get this shit out of here. Pop that in there with Margaret. Keep her company for the rest of eternity. And the 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 red widow. Ugh. These things are huge. Meow, meow, dog meat. I'm a blood bug. Meow, 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 meow. What are they like? Giant mosquitoes? Blah. Creepy crawlies. This is your new brother, dog meat. It's gonna come with it. Oh, it's a sister. It's a widow. It's a sister. It's your new sister, dog meat. It's gonna come on all of our adventures with us. Or maybe not. Right. So this is a lovely little uh, little settlement. This is one of the ones that I'm going to be claiming for myself and nobody else. Right, just make sure we pick up all of the goodies. Steamer trunk. Sweet. Sweet. Just take all of that shit. Take all of that shit. God damn it. I can't take all of that shit. Oh no, I've got an idea. Pick them up, pick them up. I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking real slow. We're just going to walk nice and sensibly and slowly to the workbench. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We're not going to get crippled. We're not going to complain about the pain in our backs and our legs. It's going to be great. Wonderful. There we go. And now I can get rid of all that rubbish. I can put all this stuff away. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Anything in here? Tarberry, potatoes. There we go. I'm fine now. Awesome. Great. Yeah, so we'll be clearing this up as uh you get some a pretty decent um pretty decent sized area here. You get all along this shoreline which is really nice. You could if you were gonna um make it as a settlement, put little couple of little beach sized houses in here. There are a few little scrappy bits in the in the water too that you can take. You can actually get quite far in the water. I don't want to go too far because I'll take rads. But yeah, you can you can get right in there and there's quite a bit that you can scrap down there. So tidy this shit up a little bit. Yeah, so Covenant maybe over there. I might have a small small shack over there, but this is gonna be my house. 
nearby covenant i'm not going to put up a recruitment beacon so i'm not going to have any settlers come in here i'm going to have people going um from here to other places so i will like i'll head back to covenant i might as well just do that right now because it's just over the way here head back to covenant get somebody at covenant to form a supply line go in there and then get somebody at green tops nursery to form a supply line coming back the other way and that way i don't need any extra settlers there it can be completely mine but it's all connected to the network so hello i have returned oh codsworth hey codsworth uh, 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 no. no. <laughs> I like how pissy they get with you. Like, all right then. I'm going to send Codsworth to, to my house because, you know, he's my house robot. So he, he should take care of my house. And you, you, there's, there's a lot of food here. You can form a supply line with Tappington. So. And then I can head back over. What is the Brahmin doing in here? I do. I, I always do, Swanson. I always do. Right, so Codsworth should be heading over to Taffington now. And I should have access to all the goods. That thing is floating. I was happy that that worked, but it didn't work as well as I thought it should have or thought it had worked. Oh, well, I'll fix it later. There is no excuses to have floating things floating things in your houses no excuse whatsoever don't like it it's ugly so now we are connected here let's have a little look we are connected here oh getting a nice little shape going on here everything so that's going to be connected to covenant and i will tie it up on the other end uh by going back and forth from green top nursery i'll probably nip to green top nursery on the way down to where we're going with uh, the other place i'm going to do some work here at some point i'm not going to do it right now just because building takes time and all that shit so i'm going to make sure that these are these aren't secure because they're I don't tend to use like desks and things that are, uh, or steamer trunks and containers that are already there in the world. I know that some of them are okay, but I get so paranoid about putting stuff in it and then them going missing. So I'd rather delete them and then put my own in. Like it's exactly the same, exactly the same trunk, but you know, we can put that in there and then we can put a, a floor safe. somewhere here behind it like it's hiding it i mean it's not really but you never know i'll throw some teddy bears on top of it or something so put some stuff in here i've got so much crap i am carrying far too much stuff part of me wants to keep hold of it just simply so that i can put it into people's work ventures or sell it we'll see let's remove some of this stuff don't need that sleeping bag this bed is dirty we're gonna have a nice clean bed so we'll put the put the bed put it here for now i'll do this up all nicer at some point but for now we will pop a bed in there and let's see if I can make blood blood steak. Blood blood steak plus max health for one hour. So that actually increases your max health, which is, is lovely. It's very, very good. So what is going on with my thingy? I've got weakness. What does weakness do? 20% damage. Well, I think we're going to have to get rid of that. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's too much of a penalty, really drop an hour in the bed I'll make it two power nap 
and head back towards green top which is up there hmm you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna actually just just go south rather than to green top for now let's go oh we're stuck on there let's go south down this road uh that over there is uh what's it called the west something estates that is crawling with super mutants i do not want to be anywhere near that but we're kind of going to go down and around on these bottom bridges here okay yep the bridge of death and doom you put a foot wrong on that bridge you are done for and i can't Ooh. <laughs> i can't um I can't trip traps, but you, you, you just never know. Just doesn't feel like it's worth the risk. Like, see, there's like traps here. It's just not worth the risk, in my opinion. There is firing going on. What's that shit? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. I came down too. I came down too far south. That is... That's uh, the start of Automatron. And now I have seen that fight. That uh, that fight will go on even though I it's not on my screen. And when the... Uh, let's just call her the, the, the hero, the protagonist of said fight. Uh, when she eventually wins the fight, and she will, because um, it's scripted that way. When she eventually wins the fight, a uh, robot through the area, and they can be quite tough. Hordes of robots. Now, I'm just seeing if I can... Um, seeing if I can... Yeah, look, that swarm bot, that's how much uh, health I'm going to take off it. And there's like lots of them. There's little eye bots. There's bloody big tank bots. There's fancy assault trons raiders. Okay. Well, I don't like raiders. I don't like raiders that guard bridges that I want to cross. So we'll take them out. Ooh. So you can see me through this tree and I can't see you. That doesn't seem fair. Oh, that's a mine. That's my pit boy. <laughs> I'm doing well here. Doing really well here. This is going very well. some basic raiders all right i didn't want a mine i want a grenade there we go oh it's just trying to run away did you get a dog he got a he got a good boy that's just a good boy we're actually gonna go over this bridge this bridge go over this bridge settler's note oh 
What did the settler have to say? Oh, I didn't re read Margaret's note either. Margaret's note just says that her kids have gone missing and that they headed towards a tunnel near um, the house. Best stay away from the Boston Merrill Center since have been seen there. Don't know what they're after. Can't be good. Um, and Margaret's note. Mum, Russell's gone over a day now. I'm getting worried. We were going to wait for you, but found an old holotape from before the war. It sounded like someone stashed chems in the drainage at the end of the canal. Um, Russell thought we'd be able to sell them on to maybe traders and buy another Brahmin. Don't worry, we didn't tell you. Wanted it to be a surprise. Don't worry, I'm going to go and look for him and come back soon. So, yeah. Um, it just points you out to that there's a drainage thing near the canal by the house. And there is um, potentially a big old stash of chems in there. Now this, is this, that's not that, is this the, the, the fireworks or is this, oh, this is an interesting area and there's a good chance that I might get killed coming into this area, but it's an interesting area. Some, uh, some cool creatures spawn in this area, potentially a legendary. So what's this? What's this little shack here? If it's got a bed in it and I can drop a save, then that'll be really handy. No. Wow, just just a little tiny little shack with a table. Okay. Feels like a bad idea going in there. I'm not gonna lie. There's a protectron up here who's a. Uh, it's big and tough. This might be the death of me. But I've got to start taking risks. I can't be afraid of combat. Right. We've got two normal rad roaches. Lucy, the death of you? Rad roaches, really? No. The rad roaches are not the problem. Neither is the black bloat fly. So that isn't very nice. Ugh. Ah, level up. Lovely. I got poisoned by its crap. Got its crap all over me. Ugh. That is crap all over me. It's horrible. Adrenaline. Over encumbered? How am I over encumbered? Uh, because I'm carrying like a million things, that's why. Uh, hub flower, feel less strength. I might, if I've got any rad stag stuff. No, I've got no rad stag stuff left. I was going to say I could increase my carry weight. What am I carrying that I can probably get rid of? Nope. Sniper rifle, pipe pistol. I'll do for now. Cigarettes, gumdrops. I'm not going to pick them up as nice as they will be. I think that there is an item down here that's worth actually getting. I'm coming in here for because yeah it's gonna get uh it's gonna get a little bit hectic when we uh, head back outside normal rad roach glowing rad roach I like how you actually pop a few rads when you kill irradiated enemies. It's a nice little, um, it's a nice little touch. Right. Okay. Thought there might have been a, a, a skill magazine or something in there, but no, it's just a chest. Oh, there is, there is, it's here. Tumblers today. 
Mysteries of the master key exposed. Lock picking is now permanently easier. Lovely. Lovely. Now I need to get prepared. I need to get prepared. I have a plasma grenade. That's a good start. Come on, get up. Get up. Ugh. There we go. What has me in caution already? I was going to say, there's not any my lurks lurking in there, is there? Now, one of two things spawn when you come out of here. I've seen rad scorpions or I've seen a uh, big Myalux and it's one or the other and you Myalux hunters. Okay. Oh, oh my doggy. Oh my poor doggy. Oh, that went down there. Right. Let's see what we can do about taking you out. Okay. That thing was tough. <laughs> Almost sounds like it's down there, but it's okay. Okay, that's okay. No, 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 nope, nope. <laughs> ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck again. Don't be stuck. <laughs> Damn you, my looks. Damn you. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. No, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, my luck hunters, okay. Still a little bit tough. Still a little bit tough for me. I'm getting stuck on these damn walkways. There we go. Still a tiny bit tough for me. <laughs> I was hoping for another legendary rad scorpion. That would have um that would have been fun. You did your best, baby boy. They were tough. They were tough. There we go. And it worked. Oh good it worked. I didn't want to have to lose you again. Uh <laughs> that was fun. That was enjoyable. Like uh Living on the edge like that. Good hard fight. Get that adrenaline up. Actually get that adrenaline up. We are on plus 15 now for adrenaline. Which is nice up here. Uh, plus 5. <laughs> ah, I'm tired, but I'm going crazy. There we are. And we leveled up as well. And I'm peckish. And I have a point. So we have... Uh, we have any roasted Maya lurk. Roasted Maya lurk sounds like a good idea after what happened. Now there is a uh, utility protectron up here. These dudes are cool. I like these dudes. They're very, very cool. He's guarding some shit. I feel like that falls off at some point. Right. Oh, 
Oh, power armor. Oh, there's power armor here. Is there a core in it? Have I got a core? Either way, I'm allowed to get inside. Awesome. There we go. Pick up my... Oh, there is no power. Pick up my second lot of power armor in the game. I've seen power armor in other places, but not just out in the wild. Unfettered. Right, if you don't have a, a fusion core or there's no power in the fusion core, you can still use it. But yeah, you can't run. It's like being over encumbered. You can't run. Uh, Vats is uh, is weakened somewhat. How far away am I from County Crossing? Quite far. Shouldn't be too difficult. I can get that. I can sneak in power armor, can't I? That's very slow. I can get this back to County Crossing. That will be amazing. Now that is the fireworks. I'm over encumbered. Why am I over encumbered? Am I carrying lots of, uh, yeah, carrying all this extra shit? Gonna scoff that and see what I can drop. 16. This shouldn't be too much. I'm not actually carrying much in the way of mods. I can probably drop some ammo somewhere. Like, missiles. Drop all that shit. Like, that was like 150 worth of missiles. Like, that is so not worth it. Like, missiles are so heavy. They are worth a fair bit of money, but they are really, really heavy. I am a robot. Stompy, stompy robot stomping through the Commonwealth. Not a thing can stop me. I shouldn't say that, actually. It's like tempting fate. Especially so close to this bloody place over here with the raiders that are in there. We are almost there, dog. We have almost made it this slow pilgrimage to County Crossing. While I'm in this area, I might see about taking on those super mutants um, on the last part of the, the next part of the quest for the Brotherhood that I stopped doing about three parts ago. Boom, 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 boom. Power armor feels so weighty in this game. I love it. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, people at County Crossing. How you doing? I bought you some power armor. You're not allowed to use it, though. It is mine. Just warning you. Boom, boom, boom. Boop, boop, boop. Is that boop annoying everybody yet? Boop, boop. Dog's like, Daddy, why are you so slow? Daddy, you look like a robot. Almost there, dog. Almost there. The slowest, most badass pilgrimage ever undertaken. You should always carry a fusion core around with you just in case you find some rogue power armor out in the wild. Worry not, citizens. Strolling man is coming to save all of your troubles. Let's hope there's a trader at County Cross, and that would be really, really helpful. I still haven't leveled up. I need to level up. Part of me is like, I should have taken the extra extra weight capacity. Wouldn't have had to drop their missiles. I'd still be walking really slow, because I'm not actually over-encumbered. It's just the power armor. Just that broken power armor. But we will repair it. We will make it better. We will claim it and keep it for ourselves. And the fact that there hasn't got a fusion core in it means that no one's going to be able to steal it. So I can store it in this little broken down house for the time being. And then once um, once we've done what we do, we can uh, reclaim it. There we go.
Right, so the people of County Crossing wanted me to go and kill some raiders for them. More blood bug steak. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Grilled rad roach. Delicious. Roasted my work meat. Nice. Right. My hope was that there was going to be a trader of some sort here. They've got a little mute farm. Uh, they have two beds, which I'm sure are probably owned. Okay. So, nowhere for me to save my game because they are poo faces. But I am going to help them out because I promised that I would. Is there any containers in here that might actually be safe enough for me to store my stuff in? Probably not. It seems very, very bare, this place. Can I store it inside the power armor? No. No, oh, I want to store my... Can I store it in the bathtub? It's probably not going to be safe in the bathtub. Okay, I will have to find some way of getting rid of this stuff. For now, however, I will see about adding some additional carry weight to me. 50 carry weight. I can't take any more long wanderer, so 50 carry weight sounds good for now and we want the quest raider troubles which is over in this direction over here just have to be somewhat careful because I haven't saved the game for quite some time I do know that if I could get close enough to at least take out the super mutants at the first part of the here, then there is... Oh, a police protectron. Hi, Mr. Policeman Protectron. Is there... Is there... Um, is there a little bed inside of your little shack? Police... Policeman? Policeman? Is it against the law for me to shoot that Brahmin? Probably best not. Oh my god! Mr. Policeman, your your house is lovely. I love it. It's very nice. These mattresses look filthy. I will move along, but I am I am okay. I'm alright. Didn't get diseases. Ooh, didn't mean to take a rad X, but there we go. Keep me nice and protected. Great! Hmm. 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 I'm going for it. Let's go for it, dog. Let's go for it. Now, this is not raiders, obviously. These are super mutants. But the super mutants... There you go. Distress signal found. Super mutants are hiding something. It'd be nice to try and wrap up this little brotherhood side quest while I am over this side of the map. Oh, that wild dog trying to give away my position. What a poo face he is. Just snoozing there. Like he has any damn right to. Trying to give away my position to the super mutants. How oh, dare it. I don't even know where its body's gone. Right, so there is a mutant hound. Oh, bloody bloatfly. Right. There are lots of super mutants in this area, including suiciders, brutes. There's probably going to be one really high level super mutant, probably possibly even um a legendary in here somewhere 
So, yeah, we have to be a bit careful with this. Because it is tough. And I suspect that I'm going to die and then decide that this... That it was probably a bit too early to come in this way. Where is that bloat fly? Don't want it detecting me. And... God damn it. Said so detecting me and giving my position away to the super mutants. Who now all know where I am. Oh, there's a mutant hound coming. Of course we missed. Ooh, ooh, there's a suicider. Where is he? Damn it. Ooh, he's a high level. He's a tough one too. If I could take out his arm. It's the right arm, isn't it? God damn it. God damn it, I'm going to get murdered. I'm going to get blown up because I can't reach the suicider. No. 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 No, keep back with your silly bomb. Oh my god! Whew. That was so close. That was so close, but it took all of them out. It took every single one of them out. Ooh, someone's got a someone's got a missile. Ooh, Jesus Christ! I thought I was about to die. Then I really, really did. Right, now let's focus. Let's regroup and refocus. Get some uh, bit, bits of suicider everywhere. Kind of scary when a whole bunch of them are running at you and you can see a suicider with a skull right behind them. I mean, they didn't have high, high weapons, those ones particularly, but the suicider, yeah, he can, he can wipe you out really, really easy really easy so we know that there is at least someone with a missile launcher here somewhere so we just want to be a little bit careful i think he was up there somewhere but i'm not 100 percent sure right we'll move so we're moving in we'll move to who's seen me god damn it Bloody bloke fly. Right. Let's switch to a smaller uh one better for high up. We've got a regular super mutant there and a brute. Another brute. Right, let's just be careful. Coming through here. It's an armor workbench. A raider. Okay, so there were raiders in here apparently. Thought that there used to be a little bed in here, but it doesn't look like it. Right, regular super mutant. Nope, there was no one there. Nobody. Nobody at all. Not even an anybody. There you go. Super Mutant Butcher. Now, that's the tough one. 
That is the tough one. That's probably the guy with the rocket launcher too. One to the fight. I'll give you a fight. Stand still. Super mutants are still strong enough that they're taking a few hits with um, with my sniper rifle. Peckish? It's not the time to be having a, some snacks. There you go. Sting wing fillet. Just stop and have a sting wing fillet. Right, two of the super mutants over there. Sneak around the place. Try not to get myself into trouble. Too much trouble. Don't get spotted, dog. I'm particularly worried about that brute, that uh, butcher. He will F me up. If I can take her out all the super mutants that are sort of around the area, then hopefully I can... sneak to where I need to go so that the butcher uh, can't easily pick me off oh I missed him come on Feel like they're gonna come over this way. I know this is a little bit boring me going around and, and very carefully sniping people, but I don't know, I don't know if it is if you find it boring. Right, there's one down. I want to try and clear out as much of the area as I can, as I can before they get uh, alerted to me, before they go into danger again, and put myself into sort of the best position that I possibly can before. You. Okay, so he at least was working out where I was. Ooh, he got stuck. And then he got dead. Right, brutes are a little bit tougher than the regular super mutants, but we need to start picking them off too. Oh, I haven't got that much in the way of sniper. Uh, ammo left we'll see we'll see hi you're a good boy doggy doggy i love you and i think you're wonderful and you're amazing and you're so sweet that's why i'm gonna do this doggy no. 
Come here. Here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Now you're gonna oh. stay. You're gonna stay. You're gonna stay in here and you're gonna be safe. Because I can sneak better without you getting under my feet. And I can not get murdered. Or you won't get murdered either. How come they always move out of my line of sight? It's like they know. It's like they get scared. It's like they don't want to play with me. I will, I will, I will. I'll come out when you show your ugly face so I can shoot it off. Come on, show your face so I can snipe it off. There we go. There's another one of the brutes down. And it's starting to rain. There is one more brute on the ground, yeah. And then it's just the butcher up in the top one. This area is really cool. I like this area a lot. It's just tough. Nope. Ooh, there's a brute there. Did not see you. Ooh, this is tricky. Oh shit, I missed him. Which way are you gonna go? I am here. I'm not gonna stop hiding. God damn it, I missed him again. So he's not actually seeing me, but he has a rough idea where I am. So he's shooting in this direction. Snipe at his ankles. As you can see, I am still in caution, so he's not 100% sure where I am. But he thinks, he thinks I'm in this direction, but he can't see me. And now he can't see anything anymore because he's dead. I didn't put the pulse on for the uh, distress signal. I mean, I know where it is. It's like it's, it's over there in, in that one. gonna go this way I thought it was over there in this one is it in this one? Oh my god it is I thought it was in the other one here we go scribe Faris and I got a fusion core and a laser rifle field scribe armor I don't think that's an outfit I don't think you can um you can build on top of that. I mean, he is holotape. And his... 
tags. Let me find his holo tape. This is a scribe, scribe Ferris. Ah, this is Ferris. It's been two hours since the paladin left. My leg. I can't staunch the bleeding. The bullet must have hit an artery. Francis. Okay, so we've now been directed to a bunker up north uh, where hopefully Paladin Brandis survived all of this. I go and retrieve my puppy dog. Yeah, there is um, on that re one up there where the uh, butcher is hiding, there is uh, another suit of power armor, which I could take. Um, I'm not going to take it. This has gone really quite well. I got what I came for. I, I, I just don't, I don't want to push my luck, if I'm being brutally honest. So, hey doggy. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that went pretty well. Um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't fight the, there was one brute left and then there was the, the, um, butcher who is sort of the boss of that area i didn't completely clear the area but i got what i wanted out of it i i just i don't think i'm strong enough to take on that butcher without um sniping so yeah we're gonna move on i'm just gonna try and wander back this way and see if i can find this this little policeman's shack again oh it's over here the little trailer i like that a lot that's really really cool it's a shame you don't get these trailers, um, trailers like this in the, uh, here we go, please protect Ron, in the workshop. But it'd be really cool to make like a little trailer park. I mean, you get box cars and you get sort of the backs of those trucks, so you could make it in a way, but not like a proper trailer. Hi. Right gonna let the brahmin live and go after the raiders which are just past here in the uh in the station i think this is the one where they're right along uh by the beach it's quite a nice it's quite a cool little area if I remember correctly, it's an interesting shack. Hmm. I'm right, just going to be careful around here because there's a good chance of spawning my lurks and the likes. Oh, that's an interesting building over there with an, with an interesting little story. But you do get some quite tough let me do this some quite tough blood books around the back I think if I remember correctly it is there we go that's just a hatchling Yeah, Red Widow. Uh, I wanted to... <laughs> there we go. Well, at least the the Mr. Handy's, Mr. Handy's chasing her off, chasing it off. Oh, God damn it! There's no escaping blood bug.
God damn it. My aim is awful. It's atrocious. If I could just get one hit on it, then I could get the, uh... Get the critical to pop up. And now that's run off, and that's the one that... The thing that, um... <laughs> that triggers the quest. Oh, the little... I say it's a little quest. It's not a quest. It's just a little side story type thing. Oh, they killed it. I know, because I got some XP. <laughs> Ooh, just a regular blood bug. So you can get a nice critical on it. Why are they running away? <laughs> Here we go. All these nice little beach town resorts. Quite nice. Here we go. Oh, power. Power armor station. Lots of coffee cups. Right. Now, did the little. Did he come back? He came back. Good day to you. Okay, he's just saying good day to you. Take some oil. On a hot plate. Head on in here. It's not talking to me. Maybe it's uh, not going to do the thing. Right. There it is. Here it is. Jean. Follow me! Our brother Malcolm has arranged a surprise for us? How lovely. Okay. Good day to you. Oh well it didn't work because they're supposed to Obviously the blood bugs or whatever have uh, attacked these already and they don't have their things. It's supposed to trigger and it's supposed to he's supposed to go happy birthday Eugene and start trying to kill you. Um, there's a little story to it. Let me see if I can find the calibrated compensated power uh, sniper rifle. There is uh Sixty-six, two hundred three, ninety-two, sixty-six, two fifteen, ninety-eight. Oh, mine is better. Yeah, there's a little story to it. If I can find the holotapes, um, you can see it, but it doesn't seem to have triggered, unfortunately. Let me find it. I think it's on the terminals. You can see it on the terminals. Here is one. First terminal. Malcolm's terminal. Oh, this one. For another terminal. Isn't giving me much. Not even really getting any um, things to knock stuff out. Ooh. 
Oh, that's nice. So seek a tidy ruin. That's not a seek. Seek, tidy, ruin is an N. Is an N. Seek, tidy, ruin. Seek, tidy, ruin. I, 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 this doesn't make any sense to me because, uh, oh, it's one. So it's that one. Okay. <laughs> we got to the marina today. It's hell outside. We should be able to fix these down boats and sail ourselves out here. My uptight brother drives me nuts sometimes. Our family sticks together through thick and thin. We've got some work to do. I need a cup of coffee. After I told the pinhead off, he stopped talking to me. We must go north. The chicken shit started leaving little notes everywhere instead. Two can play at that game. Well, it's our birthday tomorrow. Eugene wants to bury the hatchet. I might just bury it in his back. I know a little trick with the security robot protocols and make a nice birthday gift for that bastard. He'll never see it coming. Hi. Hello there. Hello there. So... Yep, yeah, uh, if you look in here, there is one dead body. Oh no, Covenant is under attack. I'm sure they can deal with it. Uh, last First day of the marina, 10 days since the bombs fell. The world's gone mad. Malcolm and I might be, be able to pull this off. The boats are in good condition. If we can get it up and running, glad Michael's here. Family have to stick together. Even if he's an annoying slob that slurps his coffee. Um, 20th day at Reeve. The blaster fool thinks he can tell me what's what. He's got another thing coming. He needs me. It means that we, we are escaping south. Jackass is never going to fix another boat with the ex expertise and parts for what's head north of all places. If it wasn't flesh and blood, I'd clobber his coffee slurping contrarian face with a wrench. I think he's doing it on purpose. He slurped his coffee for the last time. He must die. The only logical choice and really no one to blame but himself. All I need are the parts from his boat and I can escape this irradiated hell. I've been looking into the robot safety protocols. I might have a surprise for him. So, like, on the surface of it, it looks like... It looks like, you know, two brothers, possibly twins. Oh, green Vault Boy t-shirt. Uh, possibly twins. And they started getting on each other's nerves so much. And they, they set up so that the robots would turn on each other. However, there's only one dead body left. And if you look here on the table, there is one happy birthday sweet roll. So whether or not it, there was actually twins... Um, or whether it was like a guy with a split personality it's um yeah it's it's a, it's a really interesting one i really like this one break room note malcolm would you mind not slurping your coffee i can literally hear you on the other side of the hangar if i didn't know any better i think you were doing it on purpose and eugene everything on this counter is mine touch it you're a dead man <laughs> yeah um so either one of them managed to kill the other one and got, got away or yeah maybe there was never two of them in the first place it's uh it's interesting glowing things yeah i really like this this little area it's very cool fortunately the robots didn't go uh hostile towards me not that that's necessarily a bad thing whether they did or didn't is there anything over here Feels like there should be more shit over here. Okay. What's that this way? Is there hidden stuff? No. Feels like there should be something hidden over here. Hmm. Interesting. Right, there is a bed over here, so I want to just save the game very quickly if I can. Good day to you. It's a very happy little robot. Properly hydrated. We need some food. Some ribeye on the go. Check my armor. Don't think that there's anything more that I can do with these just yet. Haven't really picked up anything. Right, we'll go deal with them raiders then. Hello, sorry Mr. Handy. Have fun. Enjoy your life forever. Waiting for Eugene to not come and claim his reward. Right now, 
be careful in places like this because you say my alerts can pop up because we're quite near the coast and in the area that I'm in I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with quite high level my alerts Local bombs. Super mutant. Super mutants attacking my puppy dog? How very dare they! Where's he gone? So the raiders have started to get involved too. Are the raiders attacking the... Over there. The raiders attacking the super mutants? Okay, now the raiders are attacking me. Okay. Ooh, he's got, he's got power armor. Okay. Let's be careful about this. And do no damage whatsoever. Right. It would be nice if the super mutant and the uh, raider like shot at each other rather than me. That that would that would be nice. I mean, I'm not asking for much, just you know. The enemy of my enemies to become friends would be would be not terrible. Oh, we're breaking off her, her power armor. Yeah, I think I'm going to be different. You know why? You know why? Because I'm the protagonist, and you are a bit part raider. Ugh. Will you stop shooting at my puppy dog who's already on the floor, please? That is not working. Book return tokens. All that braider crap. Ugh. I didn't mean to pick up your board, I'm afraid. Oh, you're still alive. Thought that maybe you'd been killed. Okay, so we have triggered the raiders because of the silly super mutants who spawned in. So we just want to be a bit careful. Yeah, this is a really cool area. I like this area a lot. Oh, there's a fair amount of them. Move up a bit further. Yeah, I don't think that I can. Don't really believe you. That was me shooting your friend in the back. And stay somewhere that I can. I'm not really scared, to be honest. Just. Oh, there's a legendary. We've got a legendary raider. Right, we got that one. Um, nothing. Would you believe nothing? Right, 
What have I got in the way of stuffs? Stuffs and things. Right. Now, I'm wondering something. And I don't think I'm close enough to um, anywhere in particular that this is going to work. But I'm going to give it a go. No Minutemen able to respond. Yeah, I didn't think so. Quite far away. Right, we are now in danger. Be careful. Ooh, someone came up behind me. Good, we got a nice critical off them. Oh, Jesus, and I got blew up. Probably by the legendary. Right, let's try this again. Hopefully, super mutants won't spawn in this time and make me have to start fighting before I'm ready to. Right. So, we know that there is at least one of them. I hear them super mutants. There's at least one of them in power armor. Go on, move on through the area. Go on. Get out of here. Well, the super mutants just seem to be passing through. So we'll let them. We'll come back up this way. There is bitch tits in a power armor. How did your dog beat my dog? That doesn't seem very fair. Oh, I'm very tough. You just don't know me. What do you mean my aim is awful? It's delightful. It's perfect. There we go. Come on, dog. Get on up. I don't know why you... Over here! Ooh, no. There is nobody over here. You're imagining it. It's, it's all in your mind. He's got one of those cool flight helmets on. I like those things. She's there. Yeah, she is. She already mutated? No, now she's mutated. Don't get off her. Stay on her, boy. That's a good boy. You stay on her. You stay on her. Ooh. Who appeared right in front of my face? Someone just appeared right in front of my face and that is not what... Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. Enraging 10 millimeter auto pistol. <sighs> now, a rain... I was looking at that body. Oh my God. Someone sniped my face off. <laughs> A blood blood steak, get my health up a little bit, and pop um, a quantum. What? Oh, and here come the fucking super mutants, of course. Well, hopefully they'll go and take each other out. Rather than me. God damn them. So that's where the super mutants come from.
Who's gonna come out on top? She did, or got distracted by me. Where did you go? I'm not. How can I be scared of someone I can't see? You gotta come out sooner or later. I hit like a ah. So the super mutants come from over there, come from this road here. So that's worth noting for the future. Not that I'm planning on dying again, of course. So keep up. It's all right. It's going to be good this time, pup. We're going to get it. This means war, you hit my dog, you say you're coming for my dog and you hit my dog. Oh shit. <laughs> I have a plan and the plan involves coming in at this from a different angle. The waypoint is actually pointing me down towards the actual station down there. But me and this legendary now, it, it's a it's a blood feud. I need to take her out. They hurt my dog. They made threats against his person. Only a fucking coward hide. I mean, I'm not a coward. At least I try not to be. Okay, there she is. Christ. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, this could work out in my favor. No. Psst, hold. Stay there, dog. Stay there. Watch out, there's a death claw! Watch out, there's a death claw! What happened to the death claw? Did they kill the death claw? No, they didn't kill the death claw. Here's the fucking death claw. Go get them, death claw! Does nobody else care about the fucking death claw? Ah! No! 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 <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. There's a fucking death claw. You shooting at me when there's a fucking death claw. Are you really are you are you serious, you crazy people? Kill the death claw. <sighs> the death claw killed them all. That is canon. That is how this ends. Jesus Christ. Oh. 
dog meat. <laughs> oh, this game. I think what I'm gonna do. Hey, wait there. Is tell dog meat to stay here. Because he's a very good boy, but he's a bit squishy. And I need to be able to sneak a little bit better. And I don't want to get him eaten by an earth claw, potentially. Potentially. Fucking death claw. What the fuck? I'm amazed that these raiders have lasted as long as they have with the bloody randomly spawning death claws, super mutants, and everything around where they live. Seems a very dangerous place to set up camp. Oh, this is the, the building. And the legendary is down. Punishing synth right leg. Okay. This is that building. Punishing synth right leg. 10% melee damage back onto an attacker. Yeah, it's not really uh, worth it, I don't think. I mean, you have no idea how many times that I've died. To you, this is the first time that we have encountered each other. The reality is, ooh, it's been many more times than this one. <laughs> well, I've taken out the two toughest enemies. It's not to underestimate the others. At least in this outside area. Oh, nice! Legendary and Raging Pistol. So that was the same. Sounds like there's two left alive. Just be really fucking careful here. The jet will make you jittery. Well, I think I've finally cleared out these outdoor raiders. Two legendaries and a few really tough ones. That was, that was tough. That was, I think, the toughest, um, toughest battle I've had yet. And I genuinely, I, I died several times. Really had to make me think about what I was doing and how I was doing it. Locks really strong. That's strong. I don't have a thing. There we go. Ooh, I'm gonna gain one look from alcohol while with a companion. Right, my hope was that there was gonna be a little bedroll or something in here that I could sleep on. Doesn't appear to be the case. So I'll probably run back, grab dog, and um, grab my doggy wog, and then go inside. Hopefully the uh, inside isn't quite as bad as the outside was. Pocketed, ported hardened combat rifle. It's going to be better than mine, right? 
What's mine? Am I still using the short one? Um, what are we on? 45 damage, 33, 119, 55. Oh, that's much better. There we go. We will leave Tool of the Trade in her pocket. And people will always wonder, who named this special, special weapon? Who could it have been? What was their story? Poof. Craziness. Oh, and that's got a better scope on it. Look at that. Look at that shit. Awesome. Oh, a mattress. There is a mattress here. They had a great place. This is a really cool place that they had set up here. Really fucking cool. Ooh, yeah, that Nuka Cherry. And there's a book return terminal here somewhere. Proper little beachside arcade. It's cool. I don't even know if I've got any on me. I have 11 tokens. I could get a fragmine, a combat thingy, a fusion core, or a stim pack. I don't really want any of that. I'd rather keep hold of it because there is somewhere else that you can get, um, there is a proper one of them and you can get um, a medical journal from it, so. Oh, I have insomnia. Lovely, lovely. Covenant sort of a damage. Well, you know, I was far away fighting for my life, Covenant. I'm so sorry that you suffered damage. I will repair it when we when I get there. Let's have some potato crisps. Mmm, properly fed on Pringles. Right, well I think Seems as though I've dropped a save. We might as well head inside and see what is uh, in here. I wonder if there's... Because there's two legendaries outside. I wonder what's going to be inside. I dread to think. Hello? Hello? Just your... Friendly neighbourhood gym person. I need to really learn where my bloody hotkeys are. Right. Fragmine there. Another rad roach there. Right. Let's see if we can. What is seeing me? More rad roaches? Rad roaches! Oh, it's nice to just shoot bugs in the face after all that outside. Shooting rad roaches in the face, that's what. Let's, uh, let's get this dude on the go. I did. It's an emergency. I need police assistance. Okay, that's, that's the Skyrim door. You know, the door, the doors in Skyrim, that it's a shortcut back to the main area. It's pretty cool that they actually put them in this place. Never had them previously. Ooh, one, two, two, three, four. Oh my God, so many rad roaches. It was a bit stuck, that one. I 
I'd like to think this whole area is just going to be lovely rad roaches and the boss at the end is actually just an, a, a <laughs> just a legendary rad roach irradiated legendary rad roach that's it that's that's what they wanted me to take out nice and the raiders were so tough cuz they bow in worship to the legendary rad roaches Ooh. Boom. Now that was not a floor-based trap. That would have killed me. That's it. Ooh, bombs. I need to um, put my bombs back into my... Problem is, I end up using them up, and then I don't have, um, I can't put them into my quick menu. Right, this is a tension trigger. Oh, scattered laser rifle. Oh, what was that? Nothing. Nothing. Right, let's head down. Check out the lay of the land. See exactly what we're dealing with. Ooh. She had a sword. Lots of toys down here. Hmm. Oh, nice little dining area. Lovely, with a nice chem station in there. Can I create anything in the chem station that will help me out? Glowing bull blood pack rad resistance. No, just drugs. Just horrorcore drugs. Right, so we've got a locked door over there. Store the terminal on it here, which looks like it's another protectron. Powering up. Protectron on duty. They locked you in your little room. Right, it's heading me down that way. What's this? Advanced. Oh, I don't have advanced uh, hacking. Well, that sucks. Starting to run out of water. No way through there. Let's go down. All right, we got two down there, including a legendary. So maybe we can... Oh, I don't have any bullets in my sniper. That sucks. All right, sneak. No, no. 
Why didn't I have bloody grenades? Grenades. Not mines, grenades. Nope. Only a coward uses bombs. What have you got? All of the Raider legendaries I've got to point out have been this same, uh, this same female build body type. Nocturnal hunting rifle. Does increasing amount of damage as nights grow longer and less damage during the day? That might come in quite handy. Hmm, I might have to build upon that. Well, very well come in handy. Cigar box. There's three legendaries in this area. No one. Oh, I like having a good scope on my on my rifle. <laughs> you the last one? No, there is one down the back. Just a waster. Right, let me just step back and just uh, take a moment so that I don't die. Kind of bombs. Pulse, pulse isn't going to do anything with them. Oh, Cinder! Cinder is recovering. Oh, she looks cool. Look at her. Let's be careful here. Get the scabber down. And it is just me and Cinder. I don't want to fall at the last hurdle. I'm so nervous. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Let's move back. Move back and heal. Get some of that blood bug steak on the go. Right, let's get the health back up a little bit. She is tough. I'm not I'm not scared. I'm just Cautious, because I don't want to die. Take her out, come on. Yes! Whew. And with that, the Raiders, her Revere Station, are fucking dead. Jesus Christ, that was tough. That was really tough.
she looked really cool. She had, um, can I turn her over? She had like really cool face paint on. Can't really see her face now. She looked really cool, look at that. What a badass. I like her. Show my aunt to kill her. Where's her terminal? Now I wanna I wanna read all the gossip. I wanna read all the news. This is a cool little ramshackled um city here down in the old tube station. Metro, whatever you call it. Whatever you people call it. Metal chest piece. It's not gonna be as good as my um My chest armor, is it 15, 15, 15? 22? Yeah. That's like loads better. That's lots better. Right, let's uh, save the game. Oh, you are thirsty and hungry again. Always thirsty and hungry. I, I think that I am going to call it for this part. It has been, been tougher than I thought it might be. And it has gone on probably longer than I planned, killing all those raiders. So, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time on Fallout 4 Survival Mode.